Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how to deploy a docker container into Kubernetes using the dashboard. We'll be creating a deployment in which we'll specify the docker container that we want to use. We'll also specify the number of replica that we want to use. Then we'll create a service, an external service that will receive requests from the users and route them to our uh, containers. So join me in this video to learn how we can do that. So the first step would be installing Kubernetes on your local machine. And here following the documentation from kubernetes.io right here, we have all the steps needed in order to configure Kubernetes. So you will need to install or to set up kubectl, kubectl, and also to install the minikube. You can follow the steps described right here in order to install the latest version of Kubernetes. For these days, I'm using the version 1.11, but in, um, newer versions will be uh, rolled out after the date of uh, re uh, registering this uh, video. The installation here will take you a bit of time because there are lots of steps you need to go through and lots of uh, errors you need to um, to solve for your uh, environment. But once you have done that, now you are ready to deploy Docker images into your uh, container. So here we'll start by starting the cluster. For that, we'll, do, we'll go here to the terminal and here I run the command minikube start. Minikube start will trigger the uh, starting of, of our uh, VM. So here when we already installed a uh, minikube, what it does actually is creating a VM using VirtualBox. And here you see that I have this VM right here called a uh, minikube. This one will be used by Kubernetes in order to install the cluster, the, the nodes, and so on. So this, you will have the uh, cluster running on a VM, not on your host VM directly. This VM will take about two gigs of uh, memory and it will take also two processors by default. Of course, you can change these values if you are using um, lots of uh, Docker images in your cluster. It takes some few seconds to create or to start the cluster. Once that's done, now we can uh, access this uh, uh, Kubernetes cluster from the dashboard. And we can do that through the command minikube dashboard. This will launch this URL in my uh, default browser where I should have the Kubernetes dashboard. But at first it didn't show up because right here it takes a bit of time in order to uh, create that uh, dashboard locally. So if I go back to my terminal and run again the same command minikube dashboard, then I can see here that it is waiting uh, for uh, the endpoint and it's not ready uh, yet. Once it's ready, it will launch it again. Not yet, but if now I go to uh, refresh. And after about two minutes, I get it running right here in my uh, browser. So here we have the Kubernetes dashboard where we have all the information about the namespaces, the nodes, the persistent volumes, the roles, and so on. For this video series, we'll be focusing mainly on two aspects here. We'll be uh, focusing on the deployment and also on the services. We'll see what those means in Kubernetes. So Kubernetes basically is an orchestrator. It makes it really easy to deploy Docker images and it is made for that. So here to deploy a Docker image from the dashboard, all we need to do is go to create right here. Then we go to create an app. And here we have this simple form in order to deploy a Docker image. So let's look for a Docker image available on Docker Hub right here. I'll be using a Docker image that I have created under this URL right here. So I'll take this uh, Docker 
uh, image with its tag 792 and try to deploy it to my local uh, Kubernetes instance. So from here, I'll go and choose uh, a name for my app. Let's call it Angular App. Then I'll use the container that I have specified, angular-app-792. Of course, you can choose whatever image uh, you want right here. Then here we have the option of choosing the number of pods. By default, it's one. So if I choose here, for example, three, here three pods will be created and each pod by default will host a Docker container. So here it means that my Kubernetes will run three uh, containers, each running an instance of my application. Now the last option right here we have is the service. And here we have the three options, internal or external, or none. For internal, the service won't be exposed to external uh, users. It will be only available within the uh, pods layer. So anyone coming from outside, he won't be able to access this uh, service. But if I choose external, then here my service will be available for my uh, users. Here I need to specify the port number. So here let's say for example it's 31,000 and here for the port number it should be a value between um, 13,000 and 32,000 and some values. Here I'll choose uh, 31,000 then the target port right here I'll specify 80 and I'm okay with using TCP. Once I'm okay for that, I'll go and deploy my app. You see that here, the dashboard will refresh to tell you that here there is some uh, pods pending deployment. And if we go back right here, we can see that we have a new deployment, um, which its creation is in progress. That's our Angular app. And here we can see our three pods are being created. We can also see that we have a service created automatically for us by the uh, dashboard or by uh, Kubernetes, which is called right here Angular App. This service is the one that will expose our three pods to our uh, end users. If I go to refresh right here, we can see that the deployment was done successfully and now Kubernetes pulled or downloaded my Docker image from Docker Hub and deployed it to three uh, images or deployed it to three uh, pods and then exposed those pods through the service. Now, how can I access my application? We said we can do that through the service. So if I go right here to the service let's wait until it's created but here even if i go and refresh after many minutes the service will be always in this status uh, pending why that's because if we go into that service we can see that here its type is using the load balancer and here on my local machine i don't have a local balancer we get it from Azure or Amazon or Google Cloud or whatever, but not um, in a local machine. So I need to change the uh, type right here from using load balancer to using node ports. So the load balancer, it's the technology that will be used in order to distribute or in order to map the load from our end users to the uh, pods. How can I change this? So here I do have the edit menu and here I do have the YAML or the JSON file that describes the uh, deployment for this uh, service. So from here we do have all those properties for the deployed service. You see that here we do have the uh, property for the uh, node port which is the one that we have um, uh, specified, actually the, no, the port not the node port with the value of um, 31,000. 
and then we have the type right here load balancer we can go ahead and change this value so we need to change it to be node port if I change this to node port then my service will be listening on the port the node port not the port so this means it will be using this port in order to uh, redirect my end users to the application then I'll click update and here if I go back to overview from here at the bottom you can see that our service is being created successfully now so I can access it how to access it if I click inside here I can see the node port that was specified in the JSON file so if I use this one right here and I open a new or I, I open the same IP address right here in a new window so I'll copy this and open it in a new window then I use the port number specified right here so go and copy this value and paste it into the URL so your URL should be something like this then here I could see my Angular application running on my on Kubernetes on, lo on my local machine. Kubernetes also makes it so easy to update the application or scale it. So to update the app, we can go and change the tag of our Docker image that we use it, for example. And to scale the application, we can change the number of replica, which will change the number of pods that deploys our docker image how we can do that so here if we go to the deployment for our app we, here in the menu we have the option of scale so from here we can go and change the value right here in order to change the number of pods that are running in my kubernetes cluster we can also edit that value from this json file so here we do have a property called replica and replica here is the number of pods we want to uh, deploy in our app let's say now we have lots of traffic coming to our application and we need to scale it up from 3 to 10 for example all I need to do is just go and say update and right here from the uh, overview we'll be seeing that now we do have some pending work which is right here creating a new instances or creating new pods at the first we did have only three pods but now because we want to scale to 10 it's now creating some other uh, pods to reach 10 pods for our cluster and that was created fast right here so now if i go right here we can see that we have now 10 uh, pods running our application Join me in the next uh, videos of this series to show you how we can create a deployment using a YAML file, which is the option right here. I hope you liked the video and thank you for watching.